this week again and tonight we are looking for a hope and this hope is in Christ alone Amen Hallelujah give Him praise thank you Jesus and right now God's presence is in this place with us and tonight we are going to see Him and meet Him
now, Jesus. We just want to sing of how much we need you in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for being here with us. here to heal you and right now may I invite you to just ask and believe and receive in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord what should you sing with me time. 
we just want you and need you in our lives. We can't live without you, Lord. For you're all we need and all we want. Jesus, 
Come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus and take Come Lord Jesus Father, we enthrone you in our midst tonight, and we trust that the throne room of God is full of your glory, full of your peace, full of your light. As the love of God comes shining down from heaven to earth, we trust all our hearts, souls, minds, bodies, and every one of our health condition is lifted before you. And oh God, we ask that you visit us in our time of affliction. Visit us in our time of need. We entrust all our lives into your hands. In Jesus' precious name we all say amen. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord praise. And please be seated in God's presence. The song we just sung is such a great song. This song had such an impact in my life that I can't explain to you how. But I recall that when I was 14 years old In one of the worship services uh, In the Tampanis Lighthouse location I was sitting in the worship service Not interested to worship Not interested to be involved And then all of a sudden I listened to the song and the song tells us to enthrone Jesus. The song talks about building his throne. The song talks about worshipping him. And I don't know what you call it, maybe it was conviction. But I started bawling my eyes out. I, I truly believe looking back, it was the work of God. Uh, this song is not a touchy feeling song. This song is not one of those sentimental kind of song. The central locus of this song is not about you and I, but God. And so I didn't know what came after me. And the people around me, I think they looked at me in a strange way. Because I was not tearing. I was crying. I was sobbing. In, in a loud way, as if it was a funeral. No kidding. So we finished the first service. I went back for the second service. And during the worship, the song was Jesus will throne you again. And that's when I knew that I'm really encountering God. Immediately after that, I told my dad, I'm going to sign up to the worship team. So then at 15 years old, I came in and began to play the keyboard and things like that. This song, God used it in a very profound way for me. For those of you that are Christians, God might have used different songs. Songs like Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. Or Say Amazing Grace. Or perhaps God used a specific Bible verse. But whatever it is, it's, it's amazing how God can use different means of grace. And today I want to talk to you about the very subject, Jesus, we enthrone you. So as we dive in, will you help me by turning to three people and say, let's enthrone Jesus, amen. Right. We'll just look at two verses tonight. But, but I assure you that these two verses are chock full of magnificent words. It extols the glory of God. Uh, I've had a Christian ask me before on uh, Facebook. 
He said, Pastor, is it important to talk about the character or the attributes of God? The truth is, if you're not interested in God, the character of God or attributes of God wouldn't make sense. And so you'll probably snooze and snore talking about God's attributes. But even if you're not a Christian tonight, would you please take the next 20 minutes to hear about God? It's important. Once you get to know who this person called God is, your mind might be changed. Give you a simple analogy as we dive in. You know, sometimes you hear about someone in the school or in the workplace. You, you heard some rumors about that person. And, and, and you know how it goes. Rumors cannot always be believed, you know. Then one day you really met up with the person that people were talking about. And the more you interacted with this person, you found different things from what you heard. Now, that might be your experience tonight. Because some of you might have heard very nasty things about Jesus. Some of you might have bad experiences with the Bible. Some of you might have bad experiences with Christians. And so, your idea of God is bad. The same way that someone in the workplace might seem bad at first. And then your mind could be changed with interaction. So for the next 20 minutes, I want you to interact with what the Bible says about God. At the end of 20 minutes, if you say, nah, this God is not for me. Then you know what I'm going to pray for? I'm going to pray that later on when we sing the song Jesus will enthrone you again I'm going to pray that the carpet in your area will be completely drenched you say pastor drenched with what? drenched with your tears Lord <laughs> that God will encounter you in the way he encountered me when I was 14 years old. <laughs> As we sing, Jesus will enthrone you, something sparks in your spirit. So let's get to the verses right now on screen for us. Jude 1, looking at verse 24 and 25. See what it says. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. We have to do some work with this verse. Because if you're not a Christian, or perhaps you're a very new Christian, you won't understand the verse at all. So this is what it says. It's talking about Jesus is able to keep you and I from falling or stumbling. Now before I was a true Christian, I do not think about God. I don't think about the Bible. Don't want to pray. Not interested in church. Uh, the worship song sounds old fashioned to me. That's really how I felt. I, I, I wanted to hear music and in those days the Michael Jacksons and, and things like that. Like there wasn't Michael Jackson music in the church in, in those days. Because I had no interest in God. And so if I was 14 and I read this verse I would say what's the meaning of it and what's the point? But I've been a Christian since, for, since 15 years old to now. And for the last 25 to 26 years, with each passing year, I appreciate verses like these more. 
Because I understand that I will make mistakes and I will fall. You see, a person that hasn't come to God yet, you have this assumption that you might come to a certain stage when you're all put together. And these are the thoughts that you and I would have. If I have this job, my life is strong. I can't fall. If I marry this person, my life is full of love. I can't be defeated. If I reach this financial goal, my family is secure. We can't be destroyed. And all of a sudden, you read a verse like 24. And it takes the emphasis out of you and onto God. In other words, the Bible is saying that you cannot keep yourself from stumbling. Because you and I, as very flawed men and women, can shift with the times. Are not all that stable sometimes in our heart and in emotions. Are prone to make sometimes really bad judgment calls. If you want to be honest, we do have moral gaps and moral lapses. We do say things that we should not say. And some of our actions, we, we do not want anyone to know. But the thing is, God knows. And God has not only the sight of law, but He also has the sight of grace. The law of God shows certain patterns of behavior we are supposed to keep. But the grace of God shows us that since we cannot keep the law of God in a perfect way, grace means that someone else had to do it on our behalf. And that person, you guessed it, is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He came from heaven to earth. He's the second member of the Trinity. He's God's son, so his name is Jesus. Jesus means God saves. So Jesus came from heaven to earth to save you and I. And the Bible says he's able to keep us from falling or stumbling. You say, Pastor, I don't understand what that means. My life is my life. And the beauty of coming into the Christian faith is this. Uh, the, the Bible shifts it to something else. When you have a true relationship with God, He lives inside of you by His Spirit. Now, that's going to take some time to unpack because it sounds strange to some of you. And, and I should know because I've said in thousands of sermons when I was hearing about the Holy Spirit, and I used to imagine the Spirit equals a ghost. But that's not it. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the Trinity, is part of the Trinity. So it's the Father, the Son, that's Jesus, and then the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives inside of true believers. And that's how a believer lives. The believer is prone to falling and making mistakes. But because of saving faith in God, the Spirit of God convicts us when we are about to do wrong. That's why Jude says, now unto Jesus who is able to keep us from falling. Look at what it says next. It says, and to present 
us blameless before God. You say, Pastor, this sounds really bizarre. I'm going to say something that will not surprise you much. But all of life is a test. Typically, no one likes tests. But if you thought that once you finish your uh, university studies, that's the end of all the tests, you'll be wrong. Because there's more tests coming on. In your family, there are tests you're already going through. In your health, in your personal walk and life, you have tests. But before an almighty God, the Bible actually explained that we are going through a test before the Lord. In summary, the test would be a statement like this. Maybe more of a question. Are you and I going to place our faith in Jesus Christ? If the answer is yes, we pass the test. If the answer is no, we fail the test. I, I do not want to force anyone to be a Christian. That's not the heart of this message. But I'm merely telling you the tenets of the Christian faith. And it says that Jesus is able to present us blameless before God. You say, but pastor, I have made mistakes. How does that work? Not only the Bible says that Jesus can keep you and I from falling, it says he also can present us to God blameless. And this is where we need to talk just for a few moments about what Jesus did when he came to earth. I'll just phrase it very simply like this. Jesus came to earth, lived a completely perfect, sinless life on our behalf and then died a sinner's death on the cross on our behalf. You say, how does that work? So this is how it works. So if we believe that Jesus did all these things, then God the Father in heaven would look at us by first looking at his son, what did the son do? The son lived a perfect life on our behalf. And the son died for all our mistakes, errors, sins and failures. That's why Jude can say these words. That only Jesus can keep you and I from falling into the mud. Now I tell you something I've, I've heard from many, many, many different ladies in the church and husbands can I say to you right now many of your wives are praying for you they're praying that God will just change and revolutionize your heart because the truth of the matter, we understand how this works. See, we are more okay with our own personal sins and quirks. Because we have lived with ourselves all our life. Introduce a father or mother, introduce a wife or, or husband. And that's where the combustion comes. Because you can live with yourself, but the question is, can you live with someone else? And the minute that you are in contact with someone else in such a close proximity, not only the other person's sins are exposed, your sins are exposed. It just comes out. And in a relationship, we begin to figure out certain things. Some of you, your spouse, have, have told you things you don't want to hear. 
当时有些人，你的配偶告告诉你的，你就不愿意听。Hey, why you so selfish, ha? So, oh, 为什么你这么自私啊 ？I always tell you to put down the toilet bowl. You never put down the toilet bowl. 我就告诉你做这个做那个，你都没有做。Sound familiar? 听起来都很熟悉。And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are bigger things in the family life that you you start to see those things. 那只是其中一点。可家庭还有很多很多事情发生的。Why do people in the home get upset and angry? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when they're shouting, maybe even throwing a furniture in the house? Why are there times when No arguments there are. 不是说牧师家中间没有争吵，也是会的。But every time an argument might arise in the home. 每回在家中有一些争吵的时候。And when you interact with what's taking place. 当你就参参与的时候。You begin to see the ugliness of your own heart. 我们可以开始看到自己心中的那些丑丑陋的地方。And the ugliness of the people around you as well. 还有身旁其他人那些丑陋的地方。See, this doesn't mean there's no hope. This is why Jesus need to come to save us. 这不表示说没有希望，而是为什么耶稣需要来到人世。This is why he need to live a perfect, sinless life. 就为什么他要过这个无罪的这个生命。So let me explain a bit further. 所以牧师再进一步解释。So the perfect record of Jesus' life. 耶稣这个完美的生命。Can be given to us. 可以赐给我们每一个人。So the Bible says that Jesus knew no sin. 在圣经说，耶稣完全没有罪的。So that means he's perfect. 就是完美的。But he became sin. 可是他借借承接了这些罪。On our behalf. 因着我们。So that we might become the righteousness of God. 所以我们在神的面前可以成称义。In other words, the right standing that Jesus has with his Father. 就是说，耶稣因着我们而经历了这个考验了。Can be given to you and I. 可以赐给我们每一个人。Free of charge. 完全就是免费。Say, Pastor, no such thing as a free lunch. 你说啊，牧师，世上没有免费的午餐。Jesus paid for lunch. 耶稣为我们偿付了一切。With his blood, he paid it all with his blood. 用他的宝血付出了一切了。He died so that you could live. 他死，好叫我们能够活着。The great exchange actually happened. 一个非常非常大的一个一个转换。He was naked on the cross so that he can clothe you with a right standing before God. 他赤身的被钉在十字架上，好像好叫他能够来遮盖我们。He was accused by men. 他被人来控诉。So that God can acquit you before the heavens. 好像神让我们不会被提控。He was condemned by people. 他是被指控的。So that you can be accepted by God. 好叫我们能够被神所接纳。And of course, he was killed so that he might give us life. 而且他死叫我们能够活。That's what you call the great exchange. 所以这是个很大很大的一个交换。So once you hear, once you hear that. 所以他们听到这些。When you suddenly read Jude, verse twenty-four. 所以你如果阅读到犹大书这一节的话。There's a deeper appreciation. 你会更加的深入来领会。Let me let me read twenty-four again. 我们再读这个二十四节。Now to Jesus who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of His glory with great joy. 那能保守你们不失脚，叫你们无瑕无疵，欢欢喜喜站在他荣耀之前的我们的救主，独一的神。If you have been hearing this rightly. The next thing that should come up from your heart is this. 下回你心中也应该有这样的回应。Okay, Pastor, I might have heard certain things about God and Jesus that might have been wrong. Yeah, 牧师，我过去可能听过关于神、耶稣的一些错误的。Okay, Pastor, I will take up the challenge and I will spend the next few moments interacting with this so-called God. 那好的，我接下来就要接受这个挑战，和神有这个这呃交换。And I I really hope you do. 希望你能够这样的做到。I I hope God does something to you like He did for me when I was 14 years old. 像神给你这样的经历，就像当年给这牧师的经历一样。So we need to come to one final verse. 我们再看这最后一节。Look at verse 25. 二十五节。25, please. The next verse. Verse 25 says, "To the only God our Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord." Be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, and now, and forever. Amen. 二十五节说，愿荣耀、威严、能力、权柄
因我们的主耶稣基督归于他，从万古以前，并现今，直到永永远远。Read it again. To the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. 愿荣耀、威严、能力、权柄，因我们的主耶稣基督归于他，从万古以前，并现今，直到永永远远。Amen. Once I explain this verse, I want you to see the whole picture and the allegory coming to life. 牧师解释这节的时候，希望你们都可以看到整个画面。Because when I show you these verses relational, you would see a beautiful picture. Yeah, 如果跟你解释这个这经节的关系，你会看到很美的一个画面哦。So verse twenty-five just told us that Jesus is glorious. 所以二十五节告诉我们耶稣是荣耀的。Now you say, Pastor, I'm not a Christian. So what does the what 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 is glorious all about? 你说牧师，我还不是一个基督徒，到底荣耀是什么呢 ？I think if we do some understanding of glory, we would see that. Even our human understanding of glory is very small. If we use our limited perspective to understand the glory of God, it is very limited. So, for instance, even in early writings in Rome, it would talk about the glory of Julius Caesar, the glory of Caesar, which is the emperor of Rome. Like in the Old Testament, the Romans also talk about the glory of Caesar, the emperor of Rome. And the word "glory" depicts a few things. It could be things like military might. These military glory. It could it could be the reach and the influence of a nation. Or those who have power, have influence. This glory. It could be the prowess of their infrastructure. Or just their whole this uh uh system. It could be it could be the strength of their national trade. Or just their country's this uh power. And often times, a nation's glory is shown on their version of National Day or Independence Day. So, many times, a country's glory is shown on their national day. So that might help you just a little bit. That can help you understand a little bit about their national day. Most of the time in Singapore,、uh, it, it's quite an okay, normal life. Many times in Singapore, we live very peacefully. But many Singaporeans, including myself, we are really proud of our national day. But we are really proud of our national day. Either are there or we are watching from the television. That means, 现场还是在家观看的时候 Right, we are seeing like Singapore come to life. 我们看到整个新加坡好像呃活跃起来 We see different parts of Singapore society coming together in a sense of unity. 我们看到国家各角落都在庆祝，看到这个合一 You see the military might. 看到这个我们的军队 You see the cultivation of the land. 看到我们的这个整个国土 You see the multimedia of How the nation has progressed. 看到整个国家的进展。Now let me just use that as a small understanding of what glory looks like. 咱们通过这样让我们稍微了解过这个荣耀。So now when I say glory, just just think for a moment on National Day. 所以当我们讲到荣耀，你可以稍微就想到这个国庆日。The glory of Singapore, for instance. 这新加坡的这个荣耀，比方说。Can you put that in your mind for a minute? 咱们来思考一下。Now, when we talk about the glory of God, I want you to see a vastly different picture. Moses, you want to let you see a very surpassing picture. Because the Bible would describe him in different parts of the Bible, especially in Psalms. Because the Bible in many places, especially in the Psalms, describes him as the God of not only planet Earth, not just the universe, but as the God of the entire universe. <laughs> And last we check, even scientists don't know how many planets there are. 即使很多很多科学家都不晓得这这有有多大的这个宇宙。Our most advanced telescope. 我们有最最好的这些啊望远镜。I don't, I can't remember whether it's called Hubris or Huber Telescope, something like that. It can't even see to the far extent of the entire universe. These heavenly telescopes, these wide telescopes, don't have the ability to see to the far extent of the universe. In fact, scientists would say that very likely the universe is constantly expanding. So many scientists believe that the universe is constantly expanding. I want you to hear that for a minute. The universe is constantly expanding. That is, the universe is constantly expanding. You say, but Buster also Singapore constantly expand. Our Singapore is not like that. Our Singapore is just reclaim land, lah. We are just 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 just
，这圣经描绘这神是无所不在的一个神，伟大的神 ，Who runs the whole planets all in one swoop。他就是创造了这个宇宙万物的一个神。With just his voice, light must appear。就是因着他的话说有光就有光。The Bible would record in Genesis that within the first six days, he already created everything。创世纪告诉我们，神通过六天创造了宇宙万物。If you're a Christian, that is something you've heard it many times. 你是信徒的话，你过去应该听过很多回了。But for those of us that are new, this would be astounding. 然后当中有些还没有认识耶稣的，你听起来可能觉得很难相信。I just think for a minute right now, some of you, you know, it's it's really hard sometimes to build Legos, let alone create the whole universe. 有时候我们造一些积木都很难，那怎么创造这个宇宙呢 ？So when you think about a God that is described in that way, 所以如果我们想象神是这样被描绘的话。Suddenly, the glory of Singapore depicted on National Day seems a bit minute. 突然间，我们刚才说的新加坡的这荣耀，比较起来好像没有什么了。Suddenly, it seems like all of us are even smaller than ants. 突然间，我们觉得自己好像似乎比这个蚂蚁还微小。Before the power and the grandeur of God. 就在神的面前的话。And some of you would say, "Well, Pastor, that makes me feel so small." 你说阿姆斯这样让我这。感觉很自己很微小。It's not true at all. Let me give you an analogy. What I mean. 其实不是这么这样讲的。If you know that you are backed up by a king. 如果你晓得你背后一个这个国王在支撑你。Your smallness is only shown in his bigness. 你的渺小反而是显示出他的伟大。If you are backed up by the king. 如果你一个神一个国王支撑你。You are protected. 你就是受到保护。And that's why the Bible uses terms like we need to be in Christ, in God. So, the Bible always tells us we need to be in Christ, in God. The Old Testament would say that God is our strong tower; He's our fortress. So, the Bible says that God is our strong tower; He's our fortress. He protects us from many things. He protects us from many things. He protects us from many things. The Bible would describe Him as our shepherd. Um, 圣经也说他是我们的牧者。See the truth of the matter is that the Bible does it in two ways how they describe God. 事实是圣经有两个层次来解释神。In one way is the glory part. 一个层次呢就是神的荣耀。Now look at me for a minute. This will help. Right. 看看牧师来解释。Glory part, eh? 这个荣耀的部分。So let me just do it for emphasis. 啊，牧师来做一个进一步的一个解释。He's powerful. 他是有全能的。He's mighty. He's strong. He's strong. With a wave of his hand, constellations must move. Just that he raises his hand, things can be done. At the sound of his voice, a thousand trumpets will play. He's a creature. Things can be done. Any order that God gives will be done. God gives orders. Things can be done. Even if he can need be, he can call the rocks to cry out. He can cause donkeys to preach the magnificence of God. Tell this creature, this speaking of God, that he is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is from the beginning to the end. He is the maker of Glory, majesty, dominion—these are to describe God. He how to describe God? God is glorious, great. And then in 24, it's a different thing. But in 24, it's a different thing. Now unto Jesus, who is able to keep us from falling. In 24, he says he will keep us from falling. And that's where you have verses that tells us that that he is our shepherd. So we have the Bible that says he is our shepherd. I want you to think for a minute right now. Let's have a good think. Why in the world would such a powerful God? Why? 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 Is shown. So it is God's love that 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 is shown. 
to meet us. And that's why I believe many of us became Christians. So And that's why I believe that many of you tonight would also become Christians. Because I'm not trying to preach to you just simply a glorious God that cannot be seen or cannot be heard or cannot be known. I'm talking about the God of the universe that came as a man to be slain on our behalf. So let me just take a few moments before we respond. Just a few moments. Jesus came as a man. Lived a completely perfect sinless life for your sake and mine. When to die a sinner's death on our behalf. So that when we believe on Jesus, all our sins are forgiven. When we place our faith in Jesus, He gives us fresh new life a relationship with God that brings us eternal life and if you become a follower of Jesus at the end of your life once we are done with the glory of this earth we will be forever in the glory of God in heaven see that is a very powerful story. For the next few minutes, you have to decide whether it's a myth. Whether it's just one of those stories that's made up. And if that's how you think, we can't force you to believe. You know, no one could force me to cry when I heard Jesus went through you. But something happened to me on that Sunday when I was 14 years old. And that was God's stepping stone then for me to believe. And the moment I believe, I begin to say, okay, my life, my life is yours. I have nothing much to give you, God. In fact, uh, it's amazing you will want to save me. But he saves sinners, the Bible says. He invites very fallen people to believe. And this is a, this is a sermon for another time. There's a reason why he does that. The Bible explains that he chooses the poor, not the rich. He chooses the sinners, not the self-righteous. He chooses those that are humble, not the prideful. He chooses the little things in this world, not the grand things in this world. You say, Pastor, what does that mean? If you come to Jesus Christ, it's because you've came to one irrefutable fact. That you are a sinner who needs a savior. At the end of the day, the glory of God might be so astounding. Trust me, that's not the reason why people finally become a Christian. The Bible doesn't say the awestruckness of God is what causes faith. But the Bible expresses that it's the love of God. It's the kindness of God that leads people to turn from sin and turn to Him. So we're going to come to a response right now. Some very simple instructions. In a few moments, I'll ask everyone to stand. So whether you're in Tampines or Woodlands, we'll all stand. No, wait a while, wait a while. No, no, don't stand first. Then we would sing a song before God. And the song is, you guessed it, Jesus went through on you. Uh, I make a caveat right now, if your neighbor is going to cry out loud, don't worry about it. 
如果你身旁的人就感动流泪，你别担心。Maybe God is meeting them today. Yes, 神要触摸我们 And then I'll ask for those of you that want to believe in Jesus to come forward to respond. 老牧师会问当中任何人要相信耶稣的来到前面 And not to worry, we would have、uh, pastors and staff and、uh, gospel-like people to come around you to pray. 我们都有牧师陪团员来陪伴着你 And we want to pray that God will forgive our sin. 我们要祷告让神来赦免我们的罪 Transform our life. 来改变我们的生命 Save us, 来拯救我们 and grant us new beginning with Him. 赐给我们一个新的生命 So that's what we're gonna do. 所以就接下来这么做 Okay, are we ready? 我们准备好了吗 Okay, can we all stand in this place? 好吧，大家都站立 And as we sing, uh, Jesus, we enthrone you. 当我们唱诗，耶稣，我们高举你的时候 Please feel welcome to just join us at the front. 可以来到前面，来到台前 I'll meet you here to to pray alongside. 我们来为这里祷告 God bless you. Let's sing right now. 神祝福大家 Thank you, Lord. We enthrone you. We proclaim you are King. Standing here in the midst of us, we raise you up. Just gonna take a few more moments. We're just gonna wait a little while more. 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 Oh, wonderful! One more, come on, sister. Ah, 掌声来鼓励我们的。Okay, we're gonna pray. 我们要祷告。For those of you that wanted to respond but you're too shy. 当中如果要回应，可是你不好意思。It's all right. Just stay where you are. 你就在原本的座位。And as we pray this prayer together. 当我们祷告的时候。Would you believe it with all of your heart? 你也全心来相信。So for those that respond in the front, would you lift up your hands? 前面的可以把你的手高举。And for the rest of us, would you please stretch your hands? 大家都伸手，为着他们来祷告。And let's say this prayer simply together. 我们一起来祷告。Lord Jesus, 主耶稣 ，I believe you made the heavens and the earth. 我相信你创造宇宙万物。You are a glorious God. And yet you sent your son. 
to earth. 而你却派你的儿子 to live the perfect life. 过着一个完美的生命 and to die my sinner's death. 为我的罪而死。Tonight, I ask you to forgive all my sin. 今晚我要求你赦免我一切的罪 Transform my life. 改变我的生命 I believe in you. 我相信你 Make me your child. 让我成为你的孩子。In Jesus' name, I pray. 奉耶稣的名而求。And all of us say. 大家说。Amen. Give the Lord、Amen. praise. Praise the Lord. 感谢赞美主。Wonderful. God bless you. Please be seated. 大家请坐。And our counselors will take the particulars of those that responded. 佩戴会记录你的这个人资料。For the remaining part of our service is really about praying for our needs. It's not just physical needs that we have. 也不单单是我们的身体这些。I do know that many of you came for relational needs. 很多人也带着一些人和人之间关系的问题。I want you to know that God is a hearing God. 神垂听我们的祷告。And He understands our needs. 他了解我们各个需要。Even before we say it. 即使我们开口之前。And here's where some people would say, "Then why should I say it?" Why should I say it? Now, 既然这我为什么还要说呢 ？He still wants to hear it. 他还是要听。The Father might know everything that we want to do. 天父了解我们一切所要做的。But there's something about responding in obedience. 可是就是他要我们以这样的正面的回应他。So we pray before God. 什么在神的面前祷告 ？We ask of Him in all earnestness. 我们向。There's something about the request of prayer. 关于这个祷告的需求 Let me give you a simple analogy that will help. 牧师解释 You know, we might say that you know, Father God, since He knows everything, He can just answer my prayer. 你说啊，神他了解一切，他肯定是直接可以可以啊回应我祷告 Of course He can, but He gave us the avenue of prayer. 当然神做得到，可是他要我们有这样的祷告的这个。So that it begins to challenge and shape our faith. 就是来从中来挑战我们的这些信心。Prayer is not only about getting our needs met. 祷告不是说单单要我们的需求得回应而已。Prayer is the way that we get to know God better. 祷告呢，可以让我们更加的认识神。So much of our prayer shouldn't simply be about our personal needs. So our prayer is not only about our personal needs. But our prayers would go about talking about Him and worshiping Him and also our needs and so on. Our prayer also includes just to worship Him, to praise Him. I want to look back into the verse that we just spoke about. We want to look back into the verse that we just spoke about. In Jude, verse twenty-four and twenty-five. 这犹大书二十四二十五节 We see the interplay between a personal side of God. And the glorious side of God. Hi, His glorious side. If we talk a minute for about our needs, when we talk about our own needs, the Bible says, "Now to Jesus." Jesus says, "This Bible says, Jesus, who can keep us from stumbling, can keep us from stumbling. Stumbling, we know, is in reference to sin. We know that stumbling is in reference to sin. But when we think about our own relationships, our own health. When a relationship is not strong, 当这关系不没有那么坚固的时候 ，it falls. 就会失脚。When health is not strong, 如果我们的健康不好的话 ，it fails. 我们也就是会失脚。We see God as a God of infinite strength. 我们看到神也是无限的力量。He has so much power in Him. 他有无限的这个大能。I was reading、uh, the Gospels just. This morning again. 牧师早上就阅读这个福音书 ，and I saw a verse that I didn't really see before. 他阅读了一个经节，过去没有看到的。It literally used the term. It was in the book of Luke. It used the term, "More power came out from Jesus to the people." 路加福音关于到神的这个全能的位。I'll say it again. More power came out from the from Jesus to the people. 就是这个这个全全能从耶稣这来到各其他人身上。
When we think about the power of God, it's still in a very actionable word. But the power of God has more than just a sim- simply a powerful, swift action. The Bible expresses the power of God is shown in the gospel of Jesus Christ. You say, Pastor, I, I've come here to pray for my relationships. Then later on when we pray, we don't just want to pray that God will heal that relationship. But that He'll get to the root of it and empower it. Can I give you an example of what I mean? Let's say right now it's come to a stage where my wife wants out of the marriage. If I pray, Lord, help me to save the marriage. Hear where it might go wrong, alright? Let's say my wife comes back and says, Okay, I'll give you another chance. So yes, God answered my prayer. But three months after my prayer answered, she leaves for good. You say, Pastor, how can that happen? Because I prayed for her to come back. But I didn't pray for my attitude to change. I didn't pray that God would transform me to be a way better husband than than I used to be. And so sometimes our prayer is really too skin deep. I've, I've, I've heard some people say, Lord, I pray that I will lose weight. You roughly guess where I'm going with this. So let's say they really have their prayer and say, Wow, I lost, I shed 7 kg, you know. Yeah, God answered my prayer. It's time to <laughs> go for a buffet every day. <laughs> and then suddenly when you balloon, you say, How come, why, 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 why didn't you answer my prayer? God? See, there are prayers that we can pray that we can dismantle the very prayer we're praying. It's the same when we pray for healing of anything. It's not just healing for that moment. There's something really deeper that must go on. So another example I'll give you, let's say your, your, your teeth is hurting. Lord, help my teeth not to hurt. But you don't take care of your teeth. Even if He heals it tonight, three months time you'll be back here again. See, I, I want to take these few moments before we pray to pray in two ways. Lord, help my relationship to be strengthened. But at the same time, God, transform me. There's something that I need your help, oh God. I, I can't just want my wife back. I, I need my heart transformed. Lord, I have a toothache today. Heal the pain, it's, it's bad. But also, God, give me a changed mind and heart. So that not only do I want the symptom to be gone, but I want the root problem to be gone. Can I give you one more example? This will help everyone. Pastor, I'm in debt, you know, I have a lot of money problem. And if I asked you what it was, it will probably be something like this. You're paying credit card bill on a credit card bill. This credit card bill you're paying on that credit card bill. That credit card you're paying on the other credit card bill. And if I go down to the root of it, it would very likely be because you spend more than you earn. And so even if God gives you today and suddenly He just throws in money into the bank for you. Let's say. Yeah, Pastor, God answer my prayer. Three months later, you'll be back here. 
No, I'm not making fun. I want you to be in health and health to the full. Can someone say good amen? We're not just making fun. It's the truth. 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 Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept breaking into tears. I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Second time she came to me, she kept I have been going to that place to preach for the last seven years, and I see the same lady asking me for seven years about being able to forgive. 就是整整七年的时间，一直是要求牧师为着他的这个不饶恕祷告。I'm not making fun. Every time she asks for prayer, I'll pray. 我们不是嘲笑他，每回牧师都会为他祷告。But when I see that in my mind, I'm thinking, I I don't want to help the symptom. 可是牧师心想，他不是单单要围着他的这个原啊问题解决，得到解决。If we see a doctor and he only helps our symptom, we have to keep visiting the doctor again and again and again and again. 就像我们看医生，如果只是一些病源得到医治，我们还是一直会去找这医生。Here's where God comes into the picture. 所以就神就来到我们这个整个画面了。Of course, for that moment, He can take away your pain and take away your sadness. 当然，神能够拿走我们那些病痛，我们的这些苦毒。I think you and I know many times. It's replaced by a new form of sadness when the root is not settled with. 可是我们都知道，如果这个根源没有得到解决，问题还是一直出现的。And the Bible would say that the power of God is found in the gospel. 所以圣经告诉我们，神的全能是可以从福音书里面找到。So let's think about Jude 24:25, and then we'll pray for all our needs. 所以我们再回顾这犹大书二十四、二十五节。Now unto him who is able to keep us from stumbling. 就是神，我们的耶稣能够叫我们不失脚。The focus is on Jesus. This focus is on Jesus. That means that your prayer has two components. 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 That means that your So this root is to come to His face. Jesus, help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. Jesus, You help me to know You. Help me to love You. So by all means, pray for the toothache, pray for the finance, pray for the marriage. Go for it. So, with this problem, the prayer is not wrong. But what you need more deeper than the symptom is Jesus at the root of it all. Can someone say good amen? So, more deeply, you need to understand that Jesus is the center. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I can love my wife better. Lord, help me to love you so that I You say, Pastor, will that change my money problems? So, a minister, can it change my money problems? I promise you, it would. 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 I promise you, it And I record exactly where I was. We were in Australia. We were in Melbourne. I passed by a store and I was looking in the store. 当时他们在澳洲旅行的时候，看走过一间商店。And I said, I want to buy something in that. They were selling sandals, very nice sandals. 就看到一些很好的拖鞋，想买。And all of a sudden, I caught myself and said, No, I'm a family man right now. 突然间又想到啊，他已经是有家室的人了。And I was thinking about, you know what? If I love God and I love my wife and my future kids, I was not having kids
and instead pour it into the home. You say about pastor, what's fifty dollars? Fifty dollars. Fifty here, ten here, twenty here. And you could ask my wife, at that point I stopped buying, she's she's amazed. I start to say, no, I, I can't. But it's because of love for family. You see, when we get to something of a greater root, a lot of things can shift around. One more example regarding even relationship. Some of our relationships need such the power of God to come in. Because what's tearing your relationship is someone is too stubborn to give in. That's it. Just keep it simple. It's really that way. No, Pastor, no, you don't understand. Wow, my wife uh, fight me in every single thing. Uh, buying this also, buying that also, fight me. Then you be the one gentleman to give in and say, because of God's love for me. Gentlemen, say this if Jesus is willing to die for me, then I'm willing to let my wife paint the whole house pink also can. But this won't happen unless you pray the right prayer. Not just God bring my wife back. Your wife come back. For that one week, very happy, happy. Oh, we miss each other. More, 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 more. Hey, hello, what happened to the toilet? Uh? Hey, why you paint the house pink? Uh? Fight again, stubborn again. And then it's parting ways for good. So you I, I I wish that I was not joking, but as, as a pastor, I'm hearing this kind of things enough. And the only way we can see real healing. Lord, heal my marriage. But change my heart. If, since Jesus gave himself for me. Lord, help me to give myself to my spouse. I lose the fight, but I gain, I gain the household. Never mind. I lose the right to spend anything on myself, but I gain financial freedom. It's and that's where you have holistic healing. Now we're going to come to pray in a few moments. And so there's really two prayers I want you to pray, really. One prayer is the symptom prayer. We have to pray that still. Heal my marriage, God. Heal my health, God. Heal my relationships, God. Heal my financial health, oh God. But the second prayer is even more powerful, I believe. Lord, help me to know you. Lord, change and transform my life. Lord, I want to love you. Lord, be in the midst of everything I do. So whether it's health or relationship or finance or job or career, it's all about Jesus first. Some people don't even realize that their jobs has something to do with Jesus. I'm not kidding. Oh no, Pastor, Jesus is so loving that if I if I am one of those KTV hosters, tell like tell you, then he's okay. Then you don't know Jesus. He even cares about the job you take. If you love God, then the job you take would honor Him. See, at the root of it, it must be Jesus. So tonight, I'm going to believe that we're going to have many of our prayers heard. Amen. But most importantly, I want you to go away from this service loving Jesus more knowing Him more and letting Him be the center of your life. Can someone say a good amen? Okay. Okay. okay, come on, give Him praise. Amen. Okay, some simple instructions, all right? Don't stand up first. 
few moments time we'll stand. 待会我们也是同样会站立。And we begin to worship the Lord just a while. 我们也会继续来敬拜神。And then for those that have any prayer needs, don't feel shy. Please come. 所以任何祷告需求不要害羞，来到前面。We're going to pray for all those prayers. 我们围着所有的需求来祷告。And then we'll take testimonies. 然后我们就听着见证。And then perhaps I could lead you after that to the second prayer, which is that we'll know Jesus and. Love him richly, amen. Ah, 牧师会带领我们做第二层次的这个祷告，更认识耶稣。Sounds like a plan. 这是我们要做的。Come on, let's stand in this place. 我们再一起站立。Could I request that we lift up our hands to the Lord in surrender? 我们向主耶稣高举双手。And let's turn our heart and eyes towards Jesus. 完全来定睛于耶稣。Would you sing this now? Turn your eyes. 继续来宣告。Would you worship him and tell him again? Turn your eyes. 继续来敬拜他，告诉耶稣。Oh, turn your eyes upon Jesus. And the things. Of the earth will grow strangely deep in the light of His glory and grace. One more time, tell Him, turn your eyes. 继续来宣告 Oh, turn your horizons upon Jesus. His wonderful face and the things of the earth will grow strange. Sweet in the light of His glory and grace. How many of you believe that you are going to be touched by? Jesus tonight. 多少人相信耶稣会触摸你 ？Praise the Lord. 赞美主。For those of us that are praying that God will heal, would you please make your way to the front? 当中特别为这医治祷告的来到前面。And we'll have our gospel lighters come and pray with you. 我们也陪他员来为着你祷告。Thank you, Lord. 感谢主。And for the rest of us, you can begin praying where you are. 其他的人可以开始祷告。Go right ahead. If you want to stand and want to sit, just go right ahead. You want to stand, you want to sit, that's no problem. Begin to pray to the Lord and ask Him for His love and His favor to flow. Start to call out to God, call His love into our midst. God is the God of love. God is the God of love. And God hears the prayers of His people. God hears the prayers of His people. So begin to petition all your needs before Him. Now unto Jesus, who is able to keep us from stumbling. Father, you know all our needs tonight. Father, you know all our needs tonight. Our health needs. Our relationship needs. Our relationship needs. Our financial 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 needs. You knew it before we have even said it. We have not even said it. We have not even said it. But oh God, it's so wonderful. God, it's so wonderful. That we can pray together. We can pray together. As a people of God. Completely like you pray. And lay down all our prayer needs before you. Put all our needs before you. Oh God, hear our petition. God, you are listening to our petition. Hear our cries. You are listening to our petition. We call out to your name. 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 We call out to your name
And we want to believe for full restoration. That you are doing a work of healing. And deep deliverance. Because of your great love. In Jesus' name. For those of us that have different growths and boils in our body, begin to put your hand on those areas. And believe in Jesus' name, He has healed you. For those of you that might have skin diseases of any kind, eczema, put your hand on those areas. And believe that as God healed Naaman, that God is also taking away those rashes. He's taking away those discolorations. He's taking away the itch and pain. Thank you, O God. I would like to pray right now for those of us that might have cancer. Oh God, you know the fears and the concerns for our friends that have cancer. And in Jesus' mighty name, we believe that every cancer cell would be killed and destroyed. We believe that you'll take away every part of the cancer in Jesus' name. And we ask that you restore our friends and their lives. That cancer would be gone out of their bodies. And the wholeness and the healing of God will flow in. For those of you that have cancer, would you believe it right now in Jesus' name? Perhaps you are praying for a cancer patient somewhere else. A family member of yours might have cancer. Would you even extend that prayer to them now? And pray in a prayer of faith. For those of you that have very constant bad migraines, would you put your hand on your head and proclaim it and declare it now? In Jesus' name, the pain of migraine is gone. I speak against this infirmity. It is gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For those of you that have any migraine related pain, it is gone. Would you believe that? For some of you that have eyesight pain, you have constant cataract or you can't see or you're nearly going blind, would you put your hands on your eyes? In Jesus' name, we pray for everyone that has problems with their eyesight. Oh God, you recover sight to their eyes. You are gracious and kind. Let them continue to see the daylight and the moonlight. Let their eyes be exposed to your glory, O oh God. And in Jesus' name, everyone with eyesight problem is healed. Would you receive that right now in Jesus' name? Right now, I want to pray for those with asthma problems. Asthma problems, breathing problems. Or you might have a chronic sinus. Sinusitis. But you put your hand on your nose right now. In Jesus' name. Everyone that has a breathing difficulty. We ask, oh God, that you lift it up. Open up the airwaves, we ask. Because of your great love and mercy. That we would be completely healed. What a privilege it is to breathe fresh air. We ask, oh God, that anyone with any form of asthma or sinusitis will be healed in Jesus' name. 
Would you receive that right now? Some of you have different problems with your 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 mouth area. There could be spasms. Uh, there could be difficulty to move. There could be locked jaw and different things like that. 当中一些口腔这个脸颊有问题的。Would you put your hand around your mouth area as well? Yeah, 把你的手按在这个脸颊的部位 Oh God, we just pray even right now in the name of Jesus. So, 我们现在奉你的名 That every mouth that has pain or difficulty, 任何这些口腔、脸颊问题的 That you would give it fluidity. 你要来做医治的工作 You would give it movement. 让他们的这个形没没有问题 That you would solidify that area. Solidify that area. 完全不会僵硬了 And your healing will be upon those with locked jaws as well. 你的医治来到那些这个僵硬的部位 We pray that in Jesus' name. 我们奉耶稣的名来祈求 Amen. Amen. I feel led to pray for those with diabetic condition. Doesn't matter what type, but if you have diabetes, would you believe this as I pray over you now? 牧师特别为这那些有糖尿病的来祷告 Oh God, in Jesus' name. For our friends that have diabetic condition, we pray that you will take it away. 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 Let's take a moment to pray for any form of kidney failure or liver failure. 我们特别为这肾脏或者是肝脏问题的来祷告 Perhaps you are suffering from that right now. 或许你肝脏有些这样的问题 And would you put your hand on your chest area? 把你的手按在这个胸口部位 We pray for your heart, your kidney, your liver. 我们为这你的心脏、肝脏、肾脏部位来祷告 Oh God, in Jesus' name. 神啊，奉耶稣的名 Anyone with heart disease, or any form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver or their kidneys, or form of condition for the liver Now, as you are being prayed for, 当你先做完祷告 ，some of you are sensing the Lord move. 你们要感受到神的医治 ，and perhaps you want to test your healing even now. 或者你可以检查你的医治 ，and so that in a few moments time we are going to take testimonies. 好，接下来我们可以听听你的见证 ，and we will have pastors and different people helping you to testify. 我们有牧者来帮忙你做这见证 ，it's important to give the Lord glory. 很重要，就是要把荣耀归给我们的神 ，to tell everyone. The Lord's goodness. 告诉每一个人神的美好 So for the next few moments, it's important that we begin to test our healing. 接下来开始来检查你身体的医治 During the prayer, some of you might have felt a sense of God's love on your on your soul. 祷告的时候，你深深会感受到神在你灵命的爱 It might have come in a some form of sensation on your body. 可能是身体有一些呃呃。Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of indication. Sometimes the Lord might do that as some form of Perhaps some of you are going to receive your healing at this very moment. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. And then you're going to take a very brave step. Lift up our hands to Him right now, with you. 向神来高举双手 And as we turn our eyes towards Him, may He bestow us with healing. 让我们定睛于祂，祂继续来医治我们 May He visit us strong. 继续来到我们当中 And just pull out all the things that needs to be healed. 把一切都交托 Come on, sing this now. 继续宣告 Look for me.
Sing it again as the healing of God flows. see by an indication how many of you believe that God has touched you and healed you already wow that's awesome wonderful let's get going for some testimonies would you please be seated we'll go to Tampanese Pastor O'Connell uh, Pastor Allen Pastor yes hi Pastor uh, we, have a, we have a gospel lighter here who has been faithful in praying for others, who has two testimonies he'd like to share tonight. Uh, first is for his son, who has been suffering from uh, severe depression uh, over the last several months. And uh, uh, our brother here has been praying, standing in proxy for him. And just this week, the Lord touched him, set him free totally from his depression, not only noticeable to the family, but to those who've been around him. So he wants to give glory to the Lord for that. Wow. Amen. And also, um, our... Our brother this week also uh, experienced surgery on May 14th, uh, prostate surgery, and he had great fear and trepidation going in. But through the whole procedure, he just experienced the presence of the Lord the whole time. He was actually even able to watch a lot of the procedure. He just sensed the peace of God and is believing the Lord for a total healing. So he wants to give glory to the Lord. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to uh, Pastor Ellen. Pastor Pastor, Sister Ruth, she is now 78 years of age. She shared about a testimony on the 7th of May. Her niece brought her for a nice, wonderful dinner and lunch. She had a good lunch, but... Lunch, when I reached home, all of a sudden I had a very high fever and I was feeling very chilly. In fact, I had never had fever for almost 10 years. And I was feeling very chilly. Nowadays, the fever, even if you take Panadol, it doesn't work. So the early next morning, I was at my niece's place, her Angmokyo flat downstairs is a clinic. But I have never seen this doctor, but my niece said, what, since you are very high fever, you just see him. And the doctor, after examining me to my shop, just a few, here for a few hours, he said, I think something wrong with your lung. Uh, I think you should go to the polyclinic to have a chest x-ray. So we went to the polyclinic, we waited one hour for the result, and the doctor said, there's information of your lung. So the doctor gave me a referral letter to go to Tandoxing Hospital to see a lung specialist. I was admitted to the hospital at 3 p.m. But when in the hospital, from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., I couldn't urinate. And I told the nurse that I can't urinate and I'm feeling very bad. I'm just suffering. Do you know when it's from three to eight, you don't urine, uh, the bladder, well, I tell you. So when I told the nurse, I asked the nurse whether they can just pump up the urine. The nurse said, oh no, I think you should go the natural way. Yes. But from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m., Oh, you can just imagine. And they would refuse to pump. I say I will seek God. And I told Daddy God. I said, Daddy God, the nurse don't understand. She cannot feel how much suffering I'm going through. But you know, I pray and ask you to help me. Now she did all to pump, pump the urine for me. 
You help me. Just imagine three minutes of bread. Whoa, the urine keep coming out. And they, they put me on one pamper. Just imagine from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. How much the urine? The pamper couldn't control. My urine and the whole bed full of urine. Well, they have to change bed for me. Three minutes of prayer and straight away. Yes, three minutes of prayers and how God answer her. Not only the urine all come out, her fever all subside. Wow, she wow. was discharged and she wanted to praise God. Even at her age, 78, she amen, always amen. believed God is always with her wow. and God will answer her prayer. <laughs> 他说他最近十年都没有这样的发高烧结果医生说可能是肺的问题然后送入医院检查他还记得当天在等待这个医看医生的时候从下午三点到晚上八点五个小时没有办法自然的排尿所以他就是做了三分钟的祷告之后就完
可是你的健康的这个根源 ，at the root of your relationships， 关系的这个根源 ，is Jesus at the center， 就是耶稣要在中心。So would you lift up your hands right now, please? 所以向神高举双手。Father, you see every lifted hand and lifted heart. 天父，你看到每个高举的双手。And we ask that you draw us closer to you. 我们求你来引领我们更亲近你。Help us to love your word. 帮助我们能深深的爱你的话语。And able us to know you well. 帮助我们能更加认识你。Cause our spirits to yearn for more of you. 叫我们的灵更加的渴慕你。Oh God, we want to get closer to you in relationship. 神啊，我们要跟你建立更亲密的关系。As we pray, 当我们祷告的时候 ，As we read your word, 当我们阅读你话语的时候 ，As we grow in spiritual disciplines, 当我们在灵里来遵守你的律法的时候 ，God, we trust that we will become stronger in our faith. 神，我们相信我们的信心会更加的坚固。And all of life's challenge might come. 我们生命中的各个的挑战。But because you are at the center of our heart, 如果你在我们的中心点 ，you are the center of our activities. 你在我们各生命的中心点。Oh Lord, we know that we will not stumble. 主啊，我们知道我们不会失脚。Because as your word says, 因为你话语说 ，Now unto Jesus, 因着耶稣 ，who keeps us from stumbling, 他保守我们不失脚。We are thankful, O God. We ask that you rule and reign our lives. We ask you to rule and reign our lives. So that, like Paul Apostle, 就像使徒保罗说 ，We can say it is no longer I who lives. 我们可以说不是单单我自本身活着 ，But Jesus who lives in me. 而是耶稣活在我心深处。Oh God, help us to live the Christ-centered life. 所以你帮助我们过这个基督为主为中心的生命。A life that has you at the central place. 一个以你为中心的生命。A life where your word is high up, 一个高举你话语的生命 A life where all your principles are lived out, 一个遵守你律法的生命 And we believe that through all of this, 我们相信根据这所有的 we will see much more miracles. 我们将看到更多的神迹奇事 Much more impossible things come to fruition. 更多不可能的得到供应 But above all. We would see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. We will see that our love for you would grow. This wonderful face and the things of the earth will grow strangely in the light of His glory and grace. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray. We pray. 慈爱的天父，我们感谢你，感谢你今晚在我们当中的一切的运行。我们感谢你，不只是医治我们的疾病，给我们突破。我们感谢你给我们的启示和智慧，能让我们不只是治标，而且去治本，让我们真真实实的蒙福。Father, we thank you, Lord, tonight that you have not only spoken to us in your words. And bless us with your blessing, bless us with your healing. But Lord, we have also received your inspiration and your wisdom, O Lord, to also address the root problem. And for that, O Lord, we are so grateful. Now, Lord, we thank you. We thank you that your power can work in us, can make all things happen in our lives, and do everything we ask or dream of. Lord, you are in the church. 在基督耶稣里得到荣耀，直到世世代代，永永远远。Now unto Him who is able, unto You who is able, to do immeasurably more than what we imagine or think, according to the power that is at work within us, O Lord, may You deserve all the glory in the church and also Jesus Christ throughout all generations, forever and ever, and 
all God's people say, Amen. Praise the Lord.